son at a home. Uh, daddy bought my shoes. When I was at home, I didn't have to worry about cleaning up my room. My daddy was a rich man and servants cleaned up my room. Yes, when I was at home, I didn't have to worry about anything because daddy took care of everything. But look at me now. I'm going to rise and go home to my father. Lord have mercy. And he said, I left home as a son, but I want to go back home as a servant. When I left home, I said, Father, give me. But we want to go back home now and say, Father, make me. Uh, if you just make me, I'll be a man. I've been trying to make myself. I've been trying to do it on my own. But I want to come back home and I want you to make me. Yes, I left home as a son. But I'm coming, I want to come back as a servant. Lord have mercy. I, I did a little studying on that word servant. And I found out that uh, he wasn't talking about somebody that worked, yes, uh, eight hours a day for daddy. And had a check coming in uh, every two weeks. Uh, and they had all of the benefits of being on the daddy's payroll. Uh, he was talking about, I'm willing to come back home even lower than the day, than the servants that worked for my father by the week. Uh, I'm willing to come back as a day worker. You know what a day worker is. It's you drive your car, yes, into West Oakland. Uh, have you seen those Latino men standing there waiting for somebody to hire them? D do you need some painting done today? Uh, uh, do you need a fence fixed today? Uh, do you need your house clean today? Uh, I'll just do day work. But when you do day work, you don't get uh, Social Security. You don't get FCIA. Uh, you don't get a uh, time off for illness. You're just willing to serve him by the day. Lord have mercy. Uh, my grandmother and my mother were domestic workers. Uh, yes, uh, uh, they worked so many days for Miss Ann over here and so many days for Miss Jane over there. And Miss Jane would give them the money to catch the bus and then give them a flat weight wage which was never enough but they were willing uh, to work for that and so this boy says uh, i'm willing to come back just as a day servant yes and the father said i'm happy now uh, uh, this boy is not the same boy that he was when he left home. When he left home, he was blinded by his blessing. And when he left home, he was lost in his location. But he's a different boy now. And I can hear the father saying to the servants, this boy of mine, take those rags off of him and uh, take the sandal that has a hole in it and make sure you put it in the fire and burn it. 
Lord have mercy. But my boy is back home now, and he's not the same boy that he was when he left home. And I'm glad about it. I'm glad to see changes in this boy. Take him to uh, the barber shop and let him get a designer haircut. Yes, and then uh, trim his beard and make him look like my son. But only the father can do that. Only the father can make you look like him, walk like him, act like him, talk like him. Lord have mercy. And then after you get him shaved, uh, and after you get him washed up and cleaned up, uh, yes, uh, take him uh, by the shoe store. And I don't want you to get anything cheap. Uh, you can look at the German shoes, the French shoes, but get the very best and put on his feet and then call the tailors and let them take measurements and make sure that the robe that he wears is fit for a prince. Yes, somebody said, uh, look at that father. The father is a fool in love. But I tell you, my children, no matter how far you have strayed, no matter uh, how bad you've been, yes, the father is a fool in love with his children. And when, he, when you come back home, uh, yes, uh, he has to say, uh, go and get a ring and put on his finger. But make sure that it's not any ring. Get a ring that has a monogram of the family. Lord have mercy. Don't put any shoes on his feet. Uh, and don't put any robe on his back. Nothing is too good for my children. And the boy stood there in amazement. And I don't know what the father said to the boy, but if you just let me use a baptized imagination. Imagine that the father said, son, justice is when you get what you deserve. But I'm not gonna bring you back, yes, as a servant. I'm gonna move you up in the kingdom. Move you up in the family. Justice is when you get what you deserve. Mercy is when you get what you don't deserve. Lord have mercy. I was flying down the freeway last week. Yes, 580 with my big left foot on the gas pedal. And I saw a Nab Jones in the corner and with that gun. Yes, uh, he hit somebody, but he missed me. I said, that's mercy. That's the mercy of God. Uh, but he said, uh, I'm giving you mercy, but I'm going to give you more than mercy. If justice is what you deserve and mercy is what you don't deserve, I'm going to give you grace. For grace is more than what you deserve. Thank God for his grace. I'm going to close right now, uh, but I read a true story about an East Coast couple that had a dog, and the name of the dog was Fluffy. They rescued Fluffy from a dog pound, cleaned him up, 
perfumed him up and then put a ribbon on him. Fluffy didn't know how to behave. Lord have mercy. He had a bad habit of trying to outrun a car. And so they sent Fluffy stop there. They sent Fluffy to a dog school. And Fluffy graduated. But he still loves to outrun cars. And one day a car hit him, broke his leg, battered him up, bruised him. They took Fluffy to the pet hospital. Yes, the doctor said he's in a bad shape. If he lives, I'm gonna have to pay five, you're gonna have to pay $5,000. But I tell you, for $5, I can put Fluffy to sleep. Uh, yet the wife said, pay the $5. The husband said, no, uh, Fluffy means too much to me. When I come in from work, after being kicked, stepped on, and beaten up by a man world, Fluffy is there to greet me. But she said we could buy 50 Fluffies for $5,000. He said, I can't help it. Grace, grace, grace. If you know anything about his grace, stand on your feet. And as I think about it, and think about the goodness of the Lord, I can say grace, grace. Through many dangers, toils and snares, I've already come. But grace, let me preach this morning. Grace, let me share the stage with J. Alfred Smith, Jr. and Reverend Jackie Thompson. Grace! Grace! I'm no way tired. And as long as there's breath in my body, I want to thank you for your grace, Lord. I was a nobody, but I came to you so you could make somebody out of me. And sometimes I had to go into the furnace where it was hot. And when you had me in the furnace, I didn't think you loved me. But now, but now, because hindsight is better than foresight, I look back like the songwriter and realize it was his grace that brought me to the present. And I don't, not worrying about the future because I know who holds the future. And when stuff is so deep I don't understand it, 